If you're a productivity connoisseur, you have probably messed around with different browsers on your way to find the best one. Well, today I'll help you find that out. Maybe. I'll use this tier list to rate the browsers. Okay, so Google Chrome. I'm going to put this in B tier just because the browser takes a shit ton of resources like 2 gigabytes of RAM for like 5 tabs. And if I open my activity monitor, Chrome just has too many tasks running. But there are also Chrome extensions, so B tier is good. And before I actually go on, let me tell you what each of the tiers actually mean. Well, I should have done that at the start, but let me tell you before it's too late. So S tier is basically just the best browser, A tier being a pretty good browser, B tier being pretty mid, C tier being on the borderline to being bloat, and D tier just being completely bloat. Alright, Microsoft Edge. I mean, it's also resource hungry, has tons of bloat inside it, so it's just going to the D tier. You know, let's move it to C tier because Edge has a good PDF viewer. So C tier is okay, I guess. Next, we have Safari. I think Safari is S tier. It doesn't take a lot of resources and doesn't have random bloatware. But it also doesn't have a wide extension list. But Safari is something I can always rely on. So S tier is perfect for it. All of this is my preference and maybe your preference is different. Next, we have Arc, which is very customizable and has this vertical tab layout, which is great but it takes some time to get used to but once you do it's great so b tier is okay but only because i haven't gotten used to it next on the list is firefox which can go to a tier since it's great it's fast and also has a huge library for extensions the next browser is the zen browser which is just a customizable firefox with a vertical tab thing to be honest i'm just going to put this in b tier but just because i've never used this browser zen might be a s tier for you but i really haven't used it for more than a day so i'm just going to put it on b tier next we have orion which i normally use alongside chrome now the reason i'm giving orion a b tier is because it has tons of issues and bugs but the reason i actually use orion is because it's fast like safari and has chrome and firefox extensions vivaladi vivaladi gigaladi yeah you've probably never heard of this browser but while i was looking for a good browser i came across gigaladi and this is just like the opera browser but with more nitpicky features it's based on chromium and while i've never used this vilvadi browser a lot two years ago i gave it a shot on windows and just decided to use chrome after like three days so this is getting a c tier and the last browser is the brave browser which is basically a browser browser which stops all ads and supposedly has a good ad blocker which didn't really seem that great to me since the brave browser has been known for stealing data but i did give it a shot and it's actually pretty normal it's just chrome with inbuilt uBlock, and this takes up a ton of ram when it's under a big workload so d tier is what it gets you know what i'm also moving edge to d tier so this is the results of the battle of browsers i legit have like 10 browsers on my computer right now